Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about love of money. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of love of money is 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 6 through 11. It says, But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into the world, and we certainly can't carry anything out. But having food and clothing, we will be content with that. But those who are determined to be rich fall into a temptation, a snare, and many foolish and harmful lusts, such as drown men in ruin and destruction. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. Some have been led astray from the faith in their greed, and have pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But you, man of God, flee these things, and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, perseverance, and gentleness. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of love of money is found in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 17 through 19. It says, Charge those who are rich in this present age that they not be arrogant, nor have their hope set on the uncertainty of riches, but on the living God, who richly provides us with everything to enjoy, that they do good, that they be rich in good works, that they be ready to distribute, willing to share, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come, that they may lay hold of eternal life. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. It reads, No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be devoted to one and despise the other. You can't serve both God and mammon. Passage number 4. This is from Hebrews chapter 13, verses 5 through 6. The scripture says, Be free from the love of money, content with such things as you have, for he has said, I will in no way leave you, neither will I in any way forsake you. So that with good courage we say, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 through 21. The Bible says, Don't lay up treasures for yourselves on the earth, where moth and rust consume, and where thieves break through and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consume, and where thieves don't break through and steal, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Congratulations. You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of love of money, and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on love of money. Passage number 6 is from Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verses 10 through 11. It says, He who loves silver shall not be satisfied with silver, nor he who loves abundance, with increase. This also is vanity. When goods increase, those who eat them are increased, and what advantage is there to its owner, except to feast on him with his eyes? Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in James chapter 5, verses 1 through 6. The Bible says, Come now, you rich, weep and howl for your miseries that are coming on you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and your silver are corroded, and their corrosion will be for a testimony against you and will eat your flesh like fire. You have laid up your treasure in the last days. Behold, the wages of the laborers who mowed your fields, which you have kept back by fraud, cry out, and the cries of those who reaped have entered into the ears of the Lord of armies. You have lived in luxury on the earth, and taken your pleasure. You have nourished your hearts as in a day of slaughter. You have condemned and you have murdered the righteous one. He doesn't resist you. Passage number 8. The eighth verse on the subject of love of money is from Matthew chapter 6, verses 31 through 33. It reads, Therefore don't be anxious, saying, What will we eat? What will we drink? Or, with what will we be clothed? For the Gentiles seek after all these things, for your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first God's kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Passage number 9. 
Our ninth verse is from Matthew chapter 19, verses 21 through 30. The passage states, Jesus said to him, If you want to be perfect, go, sell what you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come, follow me. But when the young man heard this, he went away sad, for he was one who had great possessions. Jesus said to his disciples, Most certainly I say to you, a rich man will enter into the kingdom of heaven with difficulty. Again I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter into God's kingdom. When the disciples heard it, they were exceedingly astonished, saying, Who then can be saved? Looking at him, Jesus said, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Then Peter answered, Behold, we have left everything and followed you. What then will we have? Jesus said to them, Most certainly I tell you that you who have followed me, in the regeneration when the Son of Man will sit on the throne of his glory, you also will sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Everyone who has left houses, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, will receive one hundred times and will inherit eternal life. But many will be last who are first, and first who are last. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of love of money is from Philippians chapter 4, verses 11 through 13. It says, Not that I speak because of lack, for I have learned in whatever state I am, to be content in it. I know how to be humbled, and I also know how to abound. In any and all circumstances I have learned the secret both to be filled and to be hungry, both to abound and to be in need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This concludes our Bible study on the topic of love of money. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to love of money and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.